Hey Maddie, it's me, your buddy Clay. I want to, uh, Jay said that you're having maybe a little bit of doubts about investing, and I wanted to um, convince you to start investing this year, maybe this week, because we only have about a week left to get in your Roth IRA. Here we go. So I don't want you to save anymore, I want you to invest. I'm gonna do a little numbers game here. Um, Let's say that uh, you get the, you have the average salary coming out of Penn State. Actually, the salary doesn't even matter, but you're able to. But uh, we've got 25, we've got seven, we've got 55. <clears throat> so um, this is going to be 25% invested at a 7% uh, return. And this means that you'll be able to retire forever when you're 55 years old. It doesn't actually matter the salary, but this math will always work out. Now, if this is not that hard to do, we can show you how to do that. Um, I think probably one of the things that you're concerned about with investing is like, well, I could put my money in there and it could all go away. In the long term, there's going to be peaks and troughs, but if you don't learn to be an investor, I'll show you what the other option is. So let's say on this side we've got 25, we've got 35, and we've got 80. So this is again, instead, you have the incredible discipline, which would be crazy, to actually save 25% of everything that you earn. Um, you do this for 35 years, so 10 more years than this, and um, you do this for 35 years, so you're 65 now. What do you think this eight means? If you're only used to ever invest, or just if you're only used to saving, you're only going to be able to live off of that um, savings that you've worked so hard for for eight years. So. You're 73, you're going back to work. Um, I think, now on the other, on the flip side, let's say that you earn the average salary coming out of Penn State, and, um, and you actually keep working until you're 65. You're gonna have $6.3 million when you, um, when you're 65 and if you choose to invest at a 7% return. <clears throat> Another reason that I think that savings is, is a little bit silly is because banks are investing your money. So they're not, you're, if you end up just socking away money, um, let's say, it, it doesn't matter the figure, but let's say that you have $10,000 saved up in the bank. The bank actually only keeps about 3% of this $10,000. So your money that's so safe, um, there's only actually 300 bucks in there. And what is the bank doing with the other 97%? They're investing it is actually sitting money is is worse than the other money or sitting money is a worse move because they know this and in the long term it's the right move they're lending it they're investing it so if you if you're always um, if you're always saving then you're gonna be always a consumer consumer means that your retirement plan uh, is the government. The government right now, they've plan they have this thing called Social Security, pays about a thousand dollars a month or something after you turn sixty five. Um, last year they came up with a strategy of. Uh, or they like analyzed it and said that it'll run out by 2022. Uh, this year, they did the same analysis and there was no adjustments made. 
that's going to run out by 2022. So the government plan, not a great plan. Gonna, you want to be instead, learn to be an investor. Best time to learn this is when you're young. And I had a, a mentor worth hundreds of millions of dollars. He gave me a really, really good piece of advice, which was live minimally um, in your 20s and invest the rest. And he said, if you in your 20s, if you spend the whole decade um, investing in bad products and uh, and researching different things, and it's all wrong, well, at least you're used to to or you know where your um, risk tolerance is, and you know how to invest a little bit better because you're actually putting your money where your mouth is. Now, this is just a little. Um, Thing, these are the decades of your life. So you guys have been here. This is like kind of like your um, learning phase. And then this earning phase, this really depends on how you invest. So if you, if you invest um, at 25% of what you're earning, and as you continue to earn more, um, you continue to just invest about 25%, then your um, So this is your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, and here's your 50s. So this is your earning phase, and this is your retirement phase. <sighs> I can, uh, we can teach you guys about how to make this much, much shorter, um, but if you are in just the save category, your earning phase would look like, well, either indefinite, or you could try to do this eight-year retirement plan when you are uh, 65. That would look like um, your retirement would be about here, and then you're back into earning. You guys are awesome. I hope I convinced you to get a little Roth IRA going and give me a call if you have any questions. Love you guys.